the daughter of Jeremy Clarkson denounces her father's. When reporters question Nicola Sturgeon about his remarks, the former host of Top Gear also criticized her. In response to her father's most recent remarks on Meghan Markle, Jeremy Clarkson's daughter has spoken out against internet hatred. The former Top Gear broadcaster made comments about the Duchess of Sussex in an essay for The Sun that social media users deemed absolutely disgusting. I detest her, Clarkson penned. He continued by criticizing the First Minister of Scotland, saying, not that I despise Rose West or Nicola Sturgeon. I detest her to my very core. He continued, stating everyone my age thinks the same way, that he lies awake at night dreaming of the day when she is made to march nude through the streets of every town in Britain as people cry, shame, and toss chunks of feces at her. But the fact that younger people, especially females, think she's cool makes me despondent, he continued. Afterward, Emily Clarkson, the host of the podcast Should I Delete That? criticized her father's remarks on social media. She stated in an Instagram story, regarding misogyny, bullying, and how the media portrays women, my opinions are and have always been crystal clear. I want to be quite clear that I reject what my dad said about Meghan Markle and I continue to stand with people who are the target of internet vitriol, she said. TV presenter Carol Vorderman stated in a tweet, Jeremy Clarkson, no. It is never acceptable to write such things about any woman, under any circumstances, and it is not true that everyone my age thinks the same. When comedian Jason Manford tweeted a picture of the column, he wrote, please don't respond to me if you can support Clarkson in this, instead, unfollow, block, and move on. We can never come to an agreement. Stella Creasy, a Walthamstow-based MP for the Labour and Co-op, tweeted her support for Meghan and urged followers to contact their representatives. Tweeting in agony is not the greatest way to combat the hatred that Jeremy Clarkson and others foster toward women especially those of color. It demands that we recognize the crimes it inspires in the same way that we do with other types of hatred. Utilize your rage at his statements to urge your MP to take action. How is someone able to print such cruel words in a legitimate newspaper? Tweeted radio DJ and TV broadcaster Edith Bowman. In a Monday interview with media outlets, Ms. Sturgeon referred to Clarkson's remarks about the Duchess as beyond the pale. She argued that his remarks regarding Meghan Markle were profoundly misogynistic and abhorrent. When I step back from it, I have to admit that pity is my main feeling for someone like Jeremy Clarkson. What causes someone to become so warped by hatred that they wind up writing these things, after all? That may provide some insight into Jeremy Clarkson and his personality, in my opinion. Therefore, perhaps all he needs to do is stand back from everything and give life a little more thought. The last six segments of Harry and Meghan's six-part Netflix documentary are now available. The Sussexes talked openly about their time spent at the institution and the challenges they encountered as a result of unfavorable media coverage.